sunshine, temperature in the low 80s, and a wind that'll blow across the field from left to right. As Foster Television set, we're glad you joined us for the Exxon ACC Game of the Week. Humphrey at the six, and we're underway. Humphrey straight ahead to the 23-yard line. All for Clemson, Patrick Sapp at quarterback, and Emory Smith with pretty good lineage at tail to fullback. Younger brother of Emmett Smith. The key will be this offensive line led by All-American right guard Stacy Seegers and tackle Brent Lejeune. Seminoles were offsides on the opening kickoff, and Clemson is going to make them kick it again. And Humphrey will wait for the kick back at his 10. This one drives Humphrey even deeper to the three. And he is out to about the same yardage point. Here's the defensive line for the Seminoles. They're going to be much smaller, but they will key on youngsters like Tyrant Marion and senior Derek Alexander to put pressure on. Kenny Alexander and Derek Brooks, two of the best linebackers in the country. A young secondary because of injuries, for the most part, Corey Sawyer. Three wide receivers for Clemson. Davis, Smith, and Hinton. Play action to Plum. Here's Sapp, first play, down. Sawyer and Smith. Right, same formation for Clemson, although this time they're offset in the backfield. Rodney Blunt. Straight ahead over the 25, gets out to about the 26. Third and eight. No score, first possession of the game. Sap, three-man rush. Pass complete to Terry Smith at the 43-yard line. 15 yards for that 2,000 plateau you mentioned, Jack. Mix up at the line of scrimmage. Emory Smith taking the late handoff. Second down coming about 11. Sat. Wobbly ball right into the face mask of Jason Davis. They need 11 this time out. They get Davis and Smith to Sapp's right again. We might see a similar third down play. Hittens to the short side of the field. by Florida State. Sack picks it up, his hot receiver's hit, and he overthrows it. Throw it away. Turn one of the top country turn men in the country. Big rush on, Sawyer will return at the 20. Turns the corner, and is finally brought down at the 35-yard line. A 14-yard return. Plug below the waist on the receiving team on the run back. Half the distance to the goal. William Floyd is their catalyst. He's their emotional leader. A great group of receivers, both wide and tight. Outstanding offensive line that is still very young. Shiver, in particular, at center is a good one. A lot of them played as true freshmen. On first and five, here's Ward to the flats. It is incomplete. And it Brinson Buckner back into the lineup after his one-game suspension. Curry gets the start at nose guard to get a little bigger on that defensive front. Good linebackers headed up by Tim Jones and a good but very young secondary. And small at the corners, too. 5-7, five, 5-8. Seven, five, Second down and five. No, no, no. That's an adjustment. Ward with play action. Screen set up to floor. Floyd has some room and the first down. And at any time, first and ten, Florida State. Ward back to throw. It is complete. This one's to Kevin Knox at the 36-yard line. Dixon going without a huddle into the shotgun with Charlie Ward. Ward throws. The net flyer in the flats complete. And he is knocked out at the 47. He's back. Fifth-year senior for a wide open floor. Snap goes over. Charlie Ward's head, but this is where he's most dangerous. Here's Jackson, and Clemson responds. Andre Humphrey. But somehow, he got out of the tackle and found Jackson to get some of the yardage back. Clemson diagnoses it. Takes advantage of the opportunity on second and 17. Here's Jackson, and Clemson closes down quickly. Burnett. Ten and a half minutes left, first quarter. Florida State looking at a third and 13. Boyd <laughs> to throw. Over the middle, it is complete. 
Kaz McCorvey in Clemson territory. Comfrey is there to stop him at the 19-yard line of Clemson. First and 10, Florida State. Ward to the flats. It's Jackson. Jackson has another first down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. The first and goal, actually at the 8. Take the two outside receivers. And the throw of the snap. There's the kick. And it is good. The young man who nailed 40 straight point after touchdowns in high school stakes Florida State to a 7 0 lead after a three yard pass from Charlie Ward to Sean Jackson. 7 0. Florida State on top. We're in the first quarter here in Tallahassee. Humphrey finally underneath it at the 15. Humphrey looking for a way out. Matt Fryer. It seems that everybody still considers, and with good reason, that they are the program to beat in this country this year. Emory Smith gets very little. Now, second and ten. Sapp out to throw. And Smith, great catch by Smith at the 36-yard line. He's got size, sophomore, 6'4", 225. Here's Blunt. And Blunt gets surprised as he looked to be getting close to a first down. First and 10 for the Tigers. They're at their own 37-yard line. Blunt and Smith's the setback. Sapp pulled away too early. A dead ball. Full start on the offense. Five yards. He's responded, though, two out of three times that they've been in obvious pass situations. Patrick Sapp is converted. In face of splits here, and his receiver is Smith. Complete. And Smith has the first down out near midfield. First and ten. Set his own 49-yard line. Blitz is on, and he gets rid of it in time. The question is, did Davis catch it? And it is a resounding yes. So Patrick Sapp has executed this afternoon. Off to Blunt. A little bit of room, but Nance is there to wrap him up. Second down, seven for Clemson. Sapp tries to run the option. The play didn't look good from the start. Brings up third and nine. Sapp back to throw, steps out of pressure. Patrick Sapp loses the football. It's picked up by Florida State. Corey Sawyer looks to pick up the loose football. This is a common practice for Florida State. They'll bring in their second unit at the start or close to the start of the second quarter. And leading that charge, Marquette Smith out over the 30-yard line. That's right, that's the fast break offense. Out of the shotgun. Ward looking at second and six. Ward being chased. Ward, that is most dangerous, has a first down, and wisely said this is enough. Facts. First and ten, seven holes. Jackson with the ball. Flag coming up. Could be against Florida State. Pushing the back on the offense. Ten yards, spot of the foul. Still first down. Ward. Out of the shotgun. Clemson with the rush on. The Corby. Beats one man and then gets himself out to the 42. Left Darnell Stevens going the other way. Oh, yeah, he planted Dawkins there, too. Second down. Not set up. Ward to throw. Had McCorvey, but overthrew him. Third down coming in six. Florida State up 7 up. Ward gets out of the grass. And he'll be on the run. Ward, big yardage into Clemson territory at the 30-yard line. Dawkins and Burnett bring him down. Fryer and Knox to the bottom. The wide side of the field belong to McCorvey and Vanover. 
Ward, the handoff to Jackson on the draw, diagnosed perfectly by Clemson. Big, big play. <laughs> I'm so sensitive. 155 left to go in the first quarter. Here's Ward. Ward has time. And that's dangerous. This time, though, he couldn't find Vanover, the ACC Player of the Year last year. Athlete of the Year as well for his exploits in football and basketball. Ward. On third down, up 7 nothing. Downfield, incomplete intended for the wide open William Floyd. This is a 47-yarder for Bentley, who thus far this year, two for three on field goals as long as his 26. Out of the hold of Canal. It is there. And that means more than you know here in Tallahassee. Chief Osceola and Renegade always at the ready. First and 10. Florida State at their own 22. Danny Cannell back to throw. First and 10. The pass complete to his tight end. That's Lonnie Johnson. Johnson is off to the races with Terrence Dixon left to meet. Changes direction and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. hold for the point after and it is blocked blocked and picked up by Dawkins and he looks like he's going to go all the way Bentley the only man who can stop him Dawkins gets stopped at the 13 yard line well if they didn't love this kid before they do now just underway here in the second quarter at Tallahassee Florida State with scores from Sean Jackson. Bentley with a field goal and a Lonnie Johnson touchdown of 78 yards. Here's Hood. Matt Fire making yet another tackle. Sat first and 10 from his own 24. Derek Witherspoon in for the first time today. He gets the call and he gets introduced to Ken Alexander immediately. Thompson second and 11 from their own 25. Snap complete. And that's going to be to Smith once again, his third reception of the day. It's a first down. There's the pitch. With a spoon trying the corner out and not allowing them to do it. Second down and 12. Sap showing the option in the pitch to Witherspoon, and again, he can't turn the corner. Oh, Clemson trailing 16 to nothing. They're at their own 34. Checking off at the line. Florida State with blitz. Clemson picks it up. They have a flag on the play. The pass is overthrown. Here comes Welch with 10 in on the line on the block punt. And it's headed toward the end zone. Recovered by Abraham for a touchdown. Derek Brooks got a piece of the football. And that's all it took. My touchdown. He's got two against Tulane. This is the third one he's recovered for touchdown. Bentley is true on the point after, and Florida State extends their lead to 23 0 over the Clemson Tigers. 12 minutes to go here in the first half, and the home crowd at Doak Campbell loving it. Two quick scores, Jack, here in the first three minutes of play in the second quarter. Broken over this ball game so far. Humphrey back the other way. And Gets up to about the 28 yard line where first and ten. Clemson at their own 28. Sap back to throw. It's good protection and drills. Hinton. Marcus Hinton at the 41 yard line as the game moves along. First and ten at the 42. Blunt is back in the backfield now. Pass. Complete intended for Hinton. He's going to have to crank it up against this Florida State defense. They'll pin their ears back here on second and ten. Sap on the rollout. Complete to Terry Smith. And Smith gets out to about midfield to the 50 yard line. It's third down and one. Clemson trailing 23 0. Pass complete to Marcus Hinton at the Florida State 38 yard line. First and ten. At the Florida State 38.
That again, too tall for Marcus Hinton. Ball on Florida State 38 yard line. 10 16 left to go in the first half. Clemson down by 23. Sack. Pursue. And finally tackle. Todd Rebold. He threw the football. It's ruled incomplete. Heady play by Sapp. Great defensive play by Rebo. Third down and ten. Four-man rush. Sapp has time and has a receiver. Jason Davis complete at the 15, now the 14-yard line. And it's first and ten. Clemson now in four-down territory at the 14. Hitting the wide receivers, they'll go to the short side and Blunt falls in the face of Derek Brooks. Second down and 11. Pursuit by Roberson, drilled by Roberson back at the 25. It's a loss of 11 yards. Clemson back at their all back at the Florida State 25-yard line. Sap has Mario Greer and Rodney Blunt in the backfield. He's putting it up for the corner for Smith. Smith almost got it away. From Corey Sawyer. And there you see the story of Nelson Welch. His career longest is 53, so this is well within range. Wins at his back. Kick is up. It's going to be short. A hefty average per rush. Danny Cannell in a 78 yarder. It's Warwick Dunn this time on the handoff, and Dunn tries to break into the outside, and he is flattened. Ward with Marquette Smith and William Floyd behind him. And off to Floyd, the fullback, and he is up over the 31-yard line, breaking an effort he makes out of that fullback spot. Played a backup tight end last year for FSU. Here's Ward with time. Pass complete to Fryer. Hits him on a run. And he's in Clemson territory at the 41-yard line. Fryer is wide out to one side. Knocks to the other. Ward to throw. Complete to Floyd. Floyd brought down by Tim Jones, Mike Carver, Wardell Rouse. Rouse comes up with a football, and Clemson has it. Clemson trailing 23-0. Is Blunt. And Blunt gets past one man, Davis and Terry Smith, back into the ball game as the wide receivers to the top side, into the bottom. But this time it goes to Emory Smith, the tailback or the fullback rather, out to the 38-yard line. Third and two, Clemson down, 23 nothing. Blitz is on, Sapp reads it, pass complete to Jason Davis for the first down at the 43-yard line. A five-yard gain, and Davis and Smith to the bottom. Blunt the setback in the eye. Sapp to throw, and to throw big. One Smith. Great catch at the three, four-yard line. First and goal from the four-yard line. Here's the handoff, Blunt. Trying to get to the two. Full house backfield. Witherspoon, Blunt, and Smith behind Sapp. Both ends are tight. Blunt runs into his old man, may have gotten to about the one. Third and goal for the one. Blunt. Clemson shunning three, they want six. Fourth and goal. Sack. Blunt doesn't get there. Horner on the stop with Alexander. Florida State holds one more time. Charlie Ward has the ball at his own one yard line. Here's Floyd, the fullback. Gets around Dawkins. Coming back to get him again, and the football is lost to Clemson. Tigers have it. 
Picking it up on the play is Leomont Evans. Florida State showing blitz. And off goes to Blunt, and this one looks like the three goal line tries before. Five sports. Wrestling, baseball, basketball, track, and football. One pass interference call on the defense. One pass interference call on the offense. Penalties offset. We'll replay the down. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Offsetting interference calls. Interesting. That would have been the sixth career interception by Abraham. Otherwise, now it comes up. Second down and ten. Clemson at the Florida State 19-yard line. Trying to cash in on William Floyd's fumble. They trail by 23. Is batted down. Looks like Alexander got it. Clemson with only one timeout left. 2:13 left to go here in the first half. Third down and ten. Florida State leading 23 0. Sat. Ball batted again and intercepted. Coward comes up with it. I believe McIntosh hit it. Is on. Pass nearly picked off. Derek Brooks. What hasn't he done today? The pass intended for Davis. Passing. Our Exxon ACC game of the week. Top 20 showdown between Clemson and Florida State, and the Seminoles have had their way. Third down and 11. Rush is on, and Sapp is going to ride or run out of it. And Marion is the one who brings him down shy of the first down. Corey Sawyer is back. Welch. It's a line drive. Sawyer. Has to flatten himself out at the 23-yard line. Charlie Ward, the Heisman leader, has done nothing to dispel that notion either this afternoon. Back to throw. Clemson on the rush. The pass is complete to Kevin Knox at the 38-yard line. It'll be a gain of 15 yards. Tougher basketball season. Who thought this was the contact sport? Ward. Upfield to a waiting receiver. That is going to be Andre Cooper. From this afternoon, rather. First and ten. Florida State in Clemson territory at the 46. Ward throws again complete. Kevin Knox. Knox wrapped up by Leomont Evans. 19-yard gain. First and ten. Florida State carving up Clemson real estate right now. Here's the draw. Goes to Jackson. Jackson has some running run, and he's down inside the 15. First and ten. At the 13-yard line. Ward again over the middle. Knox for the third time this drive to the five-yard line. Second. About three. There's Ward again. Pressure by Buckner. Gets away. Throws for the end zone for Fryer. Incomplete. Third down and about three. Off goes to Floyd. Floyd looking for room. Michael Barber stacks him up with Brenton Buckner and Darnell Stevens. We got Kevin Knox out to that side. Fryer split wide to the bottom side. Jackson gets the handoff, looks for the end zone, but then gets flattened at the two. They're announcing attendance at 74,000 today. Ward back to throw. Great play fake. Buckner is there. Ward with a man open. It is Lonnie Johnson for the second time this afternoon. Touchdown. Kick out of the hold of Danny Cannell. It is up. And it is good. Bentley perfect again, and Florida State has scored on five of their eight possessions this afternoon, and they lead 7.31 left to go in the third. It's Florida State 30, Clemson nothing. Florida State's 30th point of the afternoon. Bentley's kick is received at the one-yard line by Greg Hood. And Hood brings it back out to the 24-yard line. Clemson with the football first and 10 at their own 24. Patrick Sapp to Rodney Blunt. And Blunt. It's a little bit of daylight out over the 28-yard line. Second down and about seven for Clemson. Witherspoon. Fights for tough yards to get over the 30. Third 
Third down and four. Clemson trailing 30 to nothing. Sap. Incomplete intended for Terry Smith. Domination continues. Ball takes a Florida State bounce. Florida State leading. They have first and ten in Clemson territory for 42. Jackson. Nice block by Floyd. And Jackson gets nice running room down to the 30-yard line. It'll be a 12-yard gain. Tell you what, they get good blocking on the perimeter from their wide receivers as well. Pass complete to Knox. Fifth catch of the half. And he is knocked out of bounds by Dexter McLean. And the receivers love to be the hitter rather than the hit E. And that was... A good pop by Kevin Knox. I wonder, can, can receivers get pancakes? Here is Dunn into the end zone. Wow. Warwick Dunn, the true freshman from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You mentioned this young man's name to the Florida State coaches. Here's the kick by Bentley, and this one is wide. Out of the hold of Danny Cannell, so he has missed for the first time this afternoon. The other was blocked. Florida State is number one, and they have looked like it, and maybe even better than that all afternoon. Bentley. The kick is taken by Humphrey. Short kick, and he squirts out of it at the 25. Eludes Abraham, and finally is brought down at the 43-yard line. First and ten at the 43-yard line. Derek Witherspoon in for Rodney Blunt. And Emory Smith, the fullback, gets the call. Solomon, the hero of the Virginia comeback, a sophomore out of Somerset, New Jersey. He suffered an injury, a hip injury, that uh, kept him out of action the last part of the season, and he's on. He's on the spot, as a matter of fact, and gets out over the 45 where you're expecting to throw a lot. You don't want to kill the young man with the pressure that Florida State will put on. Here comes Smith on the draw. There's nothing there. Read nicely by Derek Alexander. Two touchdowns and a punt. Kez McCorvey back in punt formation. Rush is on, but Welch gets it away. McCorvey at the 16. As a wall. Big block up the side. McCorvey. Finally driven out of bounds by Emory Smith in front of the Clemson bench at the Clemson 41-yard line where they started, ironically, their last drive, which resulted in a score. Marquette Smith in the backfield with Floyd. Here's Ward. It is complete to Kevin Knox. Score is going to give it up this season. Second down and one. at the 33. Ward to the flats. Wide open is McCorvey. Shakes Barber away and gets it to the 25-yard line for a gain of seven. What does your husband do for a living? He's a mascot. Okay. All right. Very good. You're inside the 20-yard line. Just imagine that first conversation, though, at home. Shiver to Ward. It is Williams straight ahead. Over the 15, and after he got into the clear and was 30 yards from the end zone, he just said, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear. Here's the throw into the end zone. Touchdown! It's going to be to Nassam. Wayne Nassam with the touchdown. The eighth receiver to catch a ball from Charlie Ward today. The underneath. Bentley for the kick after, and it is good. A minute 29 left to go in the third period, and Florida State has tacked on another score. Florida State, 43. Clemson, nothing. From Belglade, Florida, he's a redshirt freshman. Here's Bentley. Kick taken by Humphrey at the five. Humphrey straight up the middle, and he stood up very quickly by Renard Wilson. Patrick Sapp is back under center again. Greg Hood and Mario Greer as setbacks. First and ten. It is incomplete intended for Terry Smith. The coordinator said he just... We have offsetting fouls. Holding on the offense. Offsides. Defense. We all set the fouls. Replay the down. 118 left to go here in the third quarter. First and ten over again after the offsetting penalties. 
Sapp back to throw. Pass is complete. Terry Smith, and he's still on his feet. At the 42-yard line, it's a gain of 21 yards. First and 10. Clemson at their own 42. Sapp sprints out. Almost tackled by Coward. And is chased out of there by Derek Alexander before he throws to Smith. Smith in Florida State territory, and he's marked out at the 36-yard line. He's going to be brought back, I think. Second down, 14 to go. Clemson back up their own 38. Here's Witherspoon on the draw, going nowhere. Derek Alexander. The clock expires, and the third quarter comes to a close. Florida State tacks on 20 here in the third, and they lead after three complete. 43-0 over Clemson. Three touchdown passes on the day. Patrick Sapp, his counterpart from Clemson, has had a fairly good day. He's throwing big this time, going for Terry Smith again. And Smith had a little room for a score, but couldn't get there. Nelson Welch gets off a good one. McCorby back. Has it at the 19. Corby out over the fifth, out of the 20-yard uh, line. The handoff to Pooh Bear, and he got it on his hip and finally pulled it in. Carlos Curry is second down and nine. Fennell with a play fake. The pass is complete to Cooper. You are just outstanding. Smith. He's a sophomore from Fort Lauderdale, 6'4, 205. Second down. Here comes Smith. Marquette Smith gets it over the 25 to the 26. Out of the shotgun, Cannell on first and 10. Cannell steps up, fires, pass is complete. Looks like Sean Jackson. Ellison got some time last year when Fryer went out. And the handoff goes to Dunn. Warwick Dunn, another first down in Clemson territory at the 33. He was a quarterback in high school, but rushed for 1,189 yards his senior season. And here he is again, turning the corner and getting knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Second down and about two. They gave him eight on the play. Williams is in along with Marquette Smith and Hubert is close to the first down inside the 25. It is only one loss the farther you get away from it. And off goes to Williams again and Williams knocks down tacklers on his way 240 pounds. Many recruiting services called him the number one quarterback or fullback in the country. There's the flare pass now on the screen to Marquette Smith. And Marquette is in there for a touchdown. Couldn't drive him out in time. Marquette Smith scores. Still 11 minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. As the kick by Bentley, it is good. And you are right, Jack. It is 50 to nothing. The Seminoles on top of the Clemson Tigers in a convincing showing this afternoon. The home opener at Doak Campbell Stadium. And of course, Terry Smith for Clemson, as you saw, an outstanding day. And straight ahead for Clemson down to the 19-yard line for Florida State. Now that Clemson's inside the 20, Louis Solomon at quarterback. Greer and Hood is setback. A lot of clean jerseys out there for Clemson. Dropped football, picked up by Derek Brooks, and he's on his way. Forget it. Derek Brooks will not be caught. Derek Brooks, a fly field at the 41 yard line will negate likely have an illegal block in the back gets the offensive team penalty is refused oh they have touchdown touchdown wow. Derek Brooks Canel to hold the kick is up and it is good didn't expect this we saw these two teams set to collide Dan Mowry with the kick Drives Humphrey to the limit of the end zone. 
Humphrey comes out and he is flat and short of the 20 yard line. Another one on the wall this afternoon. Here's Louis Solomon on the option. Can't get out of Wilson's grasp and looked like he wanted to get rid of it again but next week, next Saturday night against North Carolina. The Tar Heels were winning this afternoon against Maryland by 14 at last look. Pass to the flats by Solomon to Jason Davis is complete. So the Alabama game now a final and Michigan still trailing by 10. There's the Carolina lead. Lots of points for the Tar Heels this year. Well, you have to, to play against Maryland. Solomon back the other way. He's got himself a first down. First and 10. Solomon goes straight ahead to Milt Shaw. Everybody having a good time here this afternoon. Here's Solomon. To Hood on the pitch. Hood's got some speed. He gets up over midfield. Holding on the offense. Ten yards, spot of the foul. Still second down. As far as Clemson is concerned, they'd like to have moved the ground ball on the ground, and they could not this afternoon. They'll be under 50 in rushing, maybe, when it's all told, or around 50. Third down and 22. Ball back on the 25-yard line. Solomon back to throw. Trailing by a big score. He's trying for Hinton, but it won't work. Incomplete. One other streak that stays alive today. Florida State unbeaten since in the conference, since entering the conference. Kaz McCorvey, he's got solid credentials, and this is a team that I think will come back. Cannell to Marquette Smith. Smith picks his way to midfield. It's a good 10 yard gain. It's good enough for the first down. Have been kept off the scoreboard 1979. 19 to nothing. They were shut out by Clemson on that particular day, or rather by Maryland on that day. There's Dunn. Dunn has showed us a lot today. Williams as well. To go with Sean Jackson. This is a frightening total package. The reverse to Dunn. Dunn. Driven out of bounds by Ford. Two great defensive players, Steve Gilbert and Corey Ford. Clarence Poubert Williams straight ahead to the 20. And time runs out. Time is about to run out as Florida State upholds and then some its number one ranking. They beat the Clemson Tigers by a score of 57 to nothing. Florida State clobbers Clemson 57 points.